right guys, Travis of Preston, and I know I like to bring my uh, my food vlog. So today I'm in Old Town Alexandria, one of my uh, old hunting grounds as they call it. Uh, the Light Horse Restaurant is right off of King Street, which is a very, very popular street in, um, in, in Old Town Alexandria. So definitely had to stop by, check it out. Uh, I never really ate their food. I used to actually go clubbing here. Uh, it was free, very, very outstanding environment. Uh, always felt safe, always came home um, safe and sound. So I definitely wanted to show them some love um, in this video and uh, do a vlog on them, all right? So we're gonna sit down, take, uh, eat some food, and let's, let's see what it's hitting on. All right, guys, so we just sat down and we're about to order some appetizers. And I think for the appetizer, we're gonna get the house tacos. It's just supposed to be a local favorite. So we're gonna do chicken. We're gonna do the chicken. You wanna do a vegetarian or just chicken? Chicken. Chicken, all right, we're gonna do the chicken. And then um, I believe for as our meal, my wife is getting the steak sandwich which is shaved ribeye, Monterey Jack, caramelized onions, uh, beef, horseradish cream. It's about roughly about $16. And I'm gonna get the, um, I think I'm gonna go with the fish and chips, which is just fresh cod and hand cut French fries for about $18. And I'm definitely gonna get a dessert. The dessert, they have a Mean Morgan's Cheesecake. Uh, which is a house-made strawberry cheesecake with strawberry sauce, roughly about eight dollars. But then again, they have that homemade brownie sundae, which is served with house-made vanilla ice cream and topped with salted caramel chocolate sauce and whipped cream. That's about ten dollars. You might have to do both. <laughs> just to, you know, you gotta try them out. So we're just waiting on the waiter to come. So hopefully they come in the next couple minutes, and we can get our grub on. All right, guys. So. The drink just came out. Uh, I ordered a Fall Spice Old Fashioned, which is um, Elijah Craig, small batch, orange bitters, brown sugar, star anise, allspice, clove, vanilla, and cinnamon. Tell me what you think about that. Absolutely delicious. And also, our tacos came out, our chicken tacos. So, let's see, can you guys see? What y'all think about it? Looks good, right? So you know before I try anything, I gotta get the pictures. And as you can see, there's uh, acorns just dropping from the sky. So I might get smacked you know, while I'm recording. We never know, right? So let me go get a picture first. Oh yeah. It's all about the angles, it's all about the angles. All right. All right, I'm gonna let my wife try it first. Go ahead, let me know what you think. Okay. Ooh, damn. Shit, even the onion was goddamn good. Okay. <laughs> That's what I hit. This joint straight fire. Oh, I 
in downtown and in the water. Downtown and downtown in the sea. I'm just mad only came with two. I love onions. Mm. That has set the taste buds in a frenzy. All right, now we're just waiting on the main course. All right guys, so the food just came out, fish and chips for me. Looking pretty tasty, right? And it comes out with uh, some malt vinegar, I guess because we're outside, um, they don't have the other thing. And then my wife, she has the steak and cheese, or the steak um, thing uh, sandwich. So she has a salad with it. Open this up a little bit. Yeah, looks pretty decent, right? Let me get my fork. I like to try my fries. The fries are hitting nice and golden. How's the salad? Now I gotta give the people what they came for. That thing looks good, right? Doesn't like no Gordons. That's good. Damn, that's going hit for real. Okay. It's like really crispy, flavorful. Um, and the tartar sauce is like creamy. Oh man, this is really good. She's biting into the steak now. Steak sandwich. Yep. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. Uh, can I have more ice, ice and water? Yes. What do you think? Thank you. Oh. Let's just take a bite of her sandwich. She actually she's like it was just like so, the steak sandwich is alright. I think it can use some salt and pepper. What do you think? A little bit more seasoning. I mean, other than that, it's good. The caramelized onions. You want to try one of the fish? Here, eat it without the tartar sauce. Good. All right, you want to dip it? So, guys, uh, the reason why she's not on camera because we had a small, very, very small table. Obviously, we're right on this, we're on, we're on King Street, and um, it's very narrow and stuff like that. So that's the reason why you only see me. Because normally, if you watch any of my other food vlogs, she's in uh, camera. Tastes better with that creamy tartar sauce. This ain't no cheap tartar sauce. Super good. Damn, this is damn good. Mm. 
It's a beautiful day. Okay. So we're gonna go finish some more of the food. And you know how I do. We're gonna get right back to you to let you know how we really feel about the food towards the end of it. Alright? So yeah, we just smacked off that food. But I did want to try the butter beer, which is Hogman's um, Wizarding Brew made with Captain Morgan Spice Rum and Cream Soda. So that sounds like it'll kill you in the long run. Um, and so that's the last trick I'm gonna do. And then uh, we have the Me Morgan's Cheesecake and we going, we ordered a brown a brownie sundae. So hopefully that's super good. So now we're just waiting. All right guys, so the drink just came out, the butter beer. And I already told you what it was. So let me go ahead and try it out for you guys. You can see it looks real frosty, right? Oh, that's good. You can really taste the the um, Captain Morgan on the back end, and then it's like and it's like in between the cream soda. I love cream soda, so absolutely delicious. All right, all right. So the desserts just came out. We have the strawberry cheesecake. Looks delicious, right? And then we have the brownie sundae. Comes with a little mug. So it looks good, right? These dangerous ass acorns that keep dropping. All right, so we're gonna try these out. Ooh, you see the acorns dropping? It's crazy. That shit just hit my shoulder blade, that shit hurt. Well, that's good. Okay. That's good. Okay. So you ready to dig into this one? Got to get past all the pleasantry. Mm. It's crazy. <laughs> Y'all take note of that. Y'all come here in the fall. Beware. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> that joint hit my damn phone. That joint hurt. <laughs> All right. Ah, my shoulders. <laughs> you like more so far. Which one do you like? Cheesecake. <laughs> okay. So oh you wanna finish it yourself? Damn she grabbed it quick. Butterbeer? Yeah butter beer. <laughs> crazy all right so why take my time on this uh, I definitely wanted to say shout out to the light horse restaurant thank you for hosting us unofficially hopefully you guys see this future in uh, this video in the future uh, to future hope you see this video in the future and you know say you holler at your boy um, yeah we're doing good can you give us a couple minutes like mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I would say the appetizer, the tacos were hitting, um, out of 10, I would definitely give it a 10 for the tacos, um, for the fish and chips, I'd probably give it probably about an eight, eight out of 10, um, just total eight out of 10. I mean, the fries were good, um, but the, the fish probably could have been a little bit more seasoned. Uh, that's why I like to taste it before I put the sauce or whatever I need to do. So uh, by itself, uh, like I said, 
definitely about eight. But with that creamy tartar sauce, that elevated it to the next level for me where I didn't even care about the seasoning. So maybe that's their trick um, on that. And like I said, now we're eating the desserts and the dessert is literally 10 out of 10. Both of them are good. I just prefer uh, strawberry cheesecake. And my wife, what do you think about the tacos? Do you think they're- 10 out of 10. Okay, so 10 out of 10 for the tacos. Uh, what about your steak sandwich and salad? Salad is perfect, 10. Okay, so the salad's a 10. Steak sandwich, 7.5. 7.5, is it because it's a lack of seasoning? Lack of seasoning, and the bread was a little soggy. All right, so look, the bread was a little soggy, so that means probably could have been toasted just a little bit longer. Um, and then you said, um, well, pretty much it, right? Just the bread could have been toasted, okay. So for me, when I bit into it, I thought the actual meat itself could have been seasoned a little bit more. I didn't have an issue with the bread, though. And then come to the desserts, uh, cheesecake, you're going to give what? Ten? And for the brownie sundae? Ten. Yeah, because she stole it from me. We're supposed to be sharing, and she just... No, nah, don't try to... It's, it's too late now. You didn't already made your, made your bed. Now lay in. <laughs> you didn't took the damn food. So... Um, and then the drinks I had, like the butter, butter beer, off the chain. I love it. 10 out of 10. And then that fall season old fashioned thing I had, you see, fall spice old fashioned. That was definitely 10 out of 10. I'm an old fashioned type of guy. So anytime I see an old fashioned at a, a restaurant, bar, or whatever, I always got to try it because uh, it's they're all not created equal. So um, anything else I'm missing, I think? Hmm. I think that's about it. Yeah, so you talked about all the food. So I hope you enjoy watching this video. This travels of, um, oh man, travels of press. <laughs> Signing out for the light, light horse. Man, man I, I'm baffled on this one. Yeah, light horse. I always want to say lighthouse. I don't know why, but yeah, the light horse restaurant, all right? In Old Town, Alexandria. Make sure you check them out if you're ever in the area and tell them that you saw it at Travels of Preston, all right? Peace.